Hi. Hello. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mike Freo with Microchip, and today we're showing our series of Max Touch touchscreen controllers. So you get 10 finger touch on the screen, and here we show our knob on display technology. So we have a physical knob on the display, and you can touch on the inside. You can also set up a keep out zone around the knob so that your fingers do not interact with the screen. We have several demos that show different applications. You can also press on the knob or sync the knobs together so that they work in unison. Nice. Yep. This could be a, if it's a waterproof uh, system, let's say, it could be like in the shower. Yeah, so you could have speaking, like a... of, speaking of waterproof, we have uh, what we call scale deltas. So this is a bottle of 5% salt water. Most salt water is typically 3.5%, so it's a little bit saltier salt water. And we can see there's no false touch happening on the screen, and our touch still is active, even during the spray. Nice. It's a multiple touch. That's magic of a good algorithm, right? It's great algorithms, great touch. Um, microchip touchscreen controllers. All right, and uh, microchip controllers. Yep, touchscreen there. controllers. All right. What what is the name of the controllers? And uh, is it the, ARM Cortex? There's a brand called Max Touch, made Max by touch. Microchip. Yep. All right. Cool. Awesome. And uh, what more we can check here? You have more demos? Uh, yeah. Kurt can yeah. Uh, talk about these other demos. Yeah. Hi. These demos? Yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. Hi. So what do we see here? This is our uh, radio graphics development board with the PIC32 MZDA microcontroller. It's got an onboard uh, graphics controller, a gra 2D graphics processor, and 32 megabytes of DDR2 DRAM. And this controls touch and has a number of different demos that can be applied in consumer and industrial applications. And it also comes with a rotary control as well. So you can have a physical interface. Think about it if it had a rotary control on the outside for use with, for usage in a, like a, a sight-free situation. If I have to keep my eyes on the road, I can still turn the wheel. Nice. nice. Th this one is yeah. what we call our integrated graphics and touch development board. This is a, um, our ATSAM E51 microcontroller with an integrated peripheral touch controller on it. Normally you would use it for sliders and buttons, but we've adapted it to uh, cover touch for the whole screen. So now I can have my microcontroller drive my graphics and my touch all on the same chip, reducing cost, reducing size, reducing power, reducing the number of board layers required. Nice. All right. Uh, so making it more affordable. More affordable, more affordable, simpler, and uh, easier to develop with. All right, cool. Yeah. These, okay, so this is the same. This is the same as that demo there, but coming along with this one is our iGat Nano. Let me before we. There we go. Coming along with this one is our iGat Nano. Now think of. I have a microcontroller that's driving the display, that's driving touch, but now it's an 8-bit microcontroller. So one single low-cost, low-power 8-bit microcontroller that's enabling me to control it using touch, all integrated within the single chip. Well, that's a lot of stuff on a little 8-bit. Yes. And uh, this potential application for this is millions of different ideas? Well, think of um, anywhere you need a little sign, anywhere you have a small space, but you not only need to be able to show the user some information that's important to them, think battery gauge, but also they need to be able to interact with it uh, simply using their finger, either through swipes or presses or touches. So um, if you have little handheld uh, appliances, devices, things that sit on your counter, uh, vacuums, things like that, those would be the kinds of applications you might think for that. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Thanks very much to ZXS to be one of my sponsors here at the Display Week 2023. ZXS is based in Shenzhen and I will be doing a video very soon with them featuring their transparent displays, OLED, LCD light box ads machine. So thanks a lot. I did video with them nearly 10 years ago when they were doing tablets and now they do these cool devices.
thanks a lot for watching. Check them out.